In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the use effect hook in React to fetch some data from a weather API. So here I have my basic React application in VS Code. I've imported use state and use effect, which are called React hooks. And we're going to use these hooks to get some data from an API that gets us some weather information, like what temperature it is right now in London. So the first thing I'm going to do for this example is I'm going to create a new variable URL and it's going to be our API call. So here I'm using weatherapi.com. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the use effect hook here and I'm going to create an arrow function here. Now, instead of using your fetch API call directly inside this function, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another function called fetch data. So I'm going to use the async keyword to make this an asynchronous function. Now, inside this function, I'm going to assign the result to the fetch function with the URL from the API. Fetch will return a promise, so we have to make that await so it works together with async. So let's go ahead and take a look at the results that we get from this fetch API call. And I'm going to use the console.log to output the result variable. But remember guys, we're not running fetch function directly inside use effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the fetch data function right after its definition. So I'm going to hit control S and then F12 so we can go into the developer console and you will see our console is returning the response object. It's doing that two times because we're calling it inside use effect. So if I add a empty array brackets there, it's going to call it only one time. I'm not going to go into details why this happens this way. This is a subject for another tutorial, but here we have the response object from console log. So here in a dev console, you will see that it's a readable stream. So to convert the response from the API to a JSON object, we're going to use JSON method. So now if at this point I run this program again, you will see it's now returning a promise. So even though we requested a JSON object, we still ended up with a promise. And in order to convert this promise into an actual JSON object, we need to call the then function on that promise. So now we can actually retrieve the actual JSON object from the promise. And if I output this JSON object into the console and run the app, you will see that now we actually have the access to the API object that was returned. So here we have the current property and inside it, we have the temperature properties. So I'm gonna grab temp underscore F and pass it into set temp function. It's a function that was created earlier before I started this tutorial. So I'm going to set temp to JSON current temp F. And the cool thing now is every time you refresh this React application, you will see current London temperature, which is at this time it's 57.2 degrees, but it's actually going to change every time you refresh it let's say every half an hour or so. So guys, this is one way of how you can get data from an API using fetch API with a sync and a wait inside the use effect hook in React. 